and is a back to Buddha's comment on 2023 presidency. Hi, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe for more updates and uh, watch to the end so that you will see how Ohanes and Dibu supports what Jim Wobodo said over 2023 Igbo presidency. Please drop your comments at the comment section below and they give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Let's do this. The author Obiora led Ohanese Ndibu Youth Wing has lauded the courage and boldness of former governor of Old Anambra State, Shivji Muobodo, over his recent stand on Igbo succeeding President Muhammad Buhari in 2023. Former governor of Old Anambra State, Jim Muobodo, had on Monday said a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction in 2023 was non negotiable. It is reported that Jim Muobodo spoke in his Amici community home when a chieftaincy title was bestowed on him by Amori Ancient Kingdom. Wobodo received the title from Dr. Ben Hue. However, in a statement issued on Wednesday, Ohane's youth also cautioned the president of Ariwa Youth Consulting Forum, Alahaji Yeri Mashetima, on some of his alleged caustic remarks which threatened the peace and unity of the nation. The Igbo Youth Organization reminded Shetima that it is not his duty to tell Ndibu who their political leader are or should be. He recalled that Ndibu had related well with the North and would not shy away from that in future despite the utterances of Shetima and cohort who lacks a sense of history. Ohanez lauded the patriotism of some northern leaders who have insisted on political justice and equity in 2023 and power shift to Igbo land. You see, Jim Wobode lauded this on Monday where he received a chieftaincy title from Amuri Asian Kingdom. He said that Igbo presidency in 2023 is not a joke that it is not negotiable that presidency should be given to the Igbos in 2023. And now they are supporting his words that this is what it should be. Ohanese Ndibu is in support of Jim Wobodo's assertion that this is what it should be, that it is the Igbos that have to pray that have to bring out the president in the 2023 and then they condemned what uh yerima shetima the leader of the ariwa youth said that the northerners are not ready to cede power to any southeasterner that they are not they are still interested like the northerners are still interested in 2023 presidency so anybody that is eyeing the presidency from south east should go and relax that these people they still have interest in the presidency in 2023 according to yerima shetima in an interview he said that even if that they will give any southeasterner the, the 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 chance to become the president that they will choose ojos or kalo and now this ohanes and Ibo youth is saying on their own that Ibo is a well prepared and well educated region in the country that they know what they want how they want it and when they want it it's not for you yerima shetima to tell them who to choose as their leader and who not to choose. They maintained that the Igbos have a good relationship with the Northerners. So you saying that uh, it's only Ojus or Kahlo that you people trust, that he's loyal to you people or that he is one of your allies. That is your business. A full-grown and a solid, well-educated and a principled, cultured people like the Igbos. It's not peop some people that you will wake up one morning and tell them who their leader should be. In the earlier history, it is it is seen that the Igbos have as an, they have their own way of doing things. 
And now the the, the youth condemns the, the act and the words of Yerima Shetima, pointing out that he is causing disunity in the country already. So now you can see so vividly how things are going that Ohane Zendibu is practically in support of 2023 Igbo presidency and not even in a, in a IPOB Biafra. Because for them to go for presidency, it means that they still believe in the country Nigeria. Why the other group, other Igbo groups like uh, the Biafra IPOB, the Masop and other pro-Biafra agitators are seriously agitating for the independence of Biafra. If Ohanes Ndibu can team force with the IPOM and other Biafran agitators, I think things will be easier. But now, nothing like that is happening as I can vividly see on this report that they are supporting Jim Wobudu and all other people that are coming out to say yes to 2023 Igbo presidency. So now, I don't know how it is happening there. Maybe people from Inugu, the people from Igbo should understand better what is going on. Is it that the Igbos want the presidency in 2023 or that the Igbos want their uh, independence as a Biafran nation because already these two are conflicting you cannot be a president in a nation and then you have your own nation again so is it that the Igbos want the Biafran nation or they want the, the, the presidency in 2023 let me just review what some people are saying about this already as I kindly await your own comments very soon somebody here said Wahaneze Wakwok confused men here and there. <laughs> Another person said, Is there sharing? Is, is power sharing a scale in Nigeria? Mm. So you see, people are already talking about this because people doesn't it's confusing how Biafra will be there and uh, you people are still asking for presidency in 2023. Assuming you people are as in the Igbos want Biafra, they should go together and fight for the Biafra freedom and not in the other side asking for presidency while asking for Biafra as well. You cannot lick two fingers very clean at the same time. It's either you take one or leave the other one. So now the advice I'm just giving is this. The Igbos need to work together seriously and maintain that this is what they want and go for it. If President Muhammad Buhari cannot give Igbos the Biafran freedom they are agitating for, then it's because some parties in the Igbos are going one way while the other parties are going the other way. Because this Ohane Zendibo now, backing what Jim Mobodo said already about, about uh, uh, Igbo presidency in 2023, simply means that they still believe in one Nigeria. Another thing that you need to understand here, like thing we need to analyze here is Yerima Shetima, the leader of Alewa group, saying that the Northerners are still interested in the presidency, that they cannot cede power to the South Easterners. Does it mean that they are the people in charge of power in the country, like they give power to whoever they wish to, just like he claimed? Does it mean that the, 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 the Arewas like the House of Lanis, that they are the majority in this country, that they do whatever they want to do, do as in become president whenever they are interested to become president, appoint whoever they want to appoint, and, uh, you know, carry whoever they want to carry along, along. If you are if you are if you are following up, you understand that something is going on because the other day the leader of the Maiti Allah said that Nigeria belongs to the Fulanis and the Fulanis will rule it forever and nobody can stop them. And now Yerima Shetima is saying that the Northerners cannot cede power to the Southeasterners.
that they are still interested in the president, which means practically that this country, Nigeria, is run by the Fulanese and is actually owned by them, since they can know who or how they want to share or seek the power. And now, for them appointing Ojus or Kahlo as the person they are trust very well as their ally, does it mean maybe he have something with them in common? Anyway, let us hear your view in the comment section. Thank you for watching and bye for now.